Hey, what's up guys? This is O.Javier.TV and today I'm going to give you guys six habits to increase your creativity. Come on. So when it comes to increasing creativity, here are my six habits. Habit number one is clearing distractions. So by clearing distractions, it not only means in your life, but also in your workspace as well. So the more distractions you clear, and by distractions, I mean other work. And when it comes to my clients, sometimes I have to do other tasks for them that doesn't include creativity. It's more of like a technical thing, clearing that out. And uh, even the problems, external problems that I have in my life, I have to not think about that. One of the things that helps me clear distractions is to actually set a time aside into working on a video or whether it's on the content, on the planning, on actually filming it or even editing it, if I actually close down a time and separate that time working on exactly that problem, not only does that help increase my creativity, but it helps my focus. So I set that time from beginning to end. So as soon as I start, I just keep on working on that until my end time, my finishing time, and then I can't stop until I finish that. You'll see that over time, you build up this habit, your productivity will increase by a lot because you will have that focus time on just working on that. Habit number two is meditation. Now I know when people hear meditation, they think of like some wooey thing of your mind that you have to like hum or make some kind of noise. And I've actually spoke about this in my other videos. The meditation, what it does is that it clears distractions from your mind. It teaches you on that same thing, on focus but more of the intangible things. So all these thoughts, and I'm sure any, everybody can relate, especially the creatives, they can relate on when you're trying to think about something or you're trying to focus on one task, other thoughts or other problems or other clients or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever is always coming in and kind of clouding your mind and that distracts and it takes away from the creative process. The more you're able to focus on a certain thing, the more attention you're able to bring to that, the more your creativity opens and the more you're able to see things that weren't there before, the more you're able to pick out certain things and add to them. Being able to bring everything together in your mind because your ideas will start in your mind. Your content will start from somewhere. They start in your mind as an idea, as a thought process. And then once that thought process is organized, able to be executed, the more you have your mind cleared from any kind of distraction, the better it is and the more you'll be able to really hone in. Making that product or making that video, making that content the best it could be. It has to tie in directly with being focused. So meditation is one of the ways that I actually bring about that focus. So what I do is I try to set aside 20 minutes in the morning after I wake up and then 20 minutes at nighttime before I go to sleep. And if you do this over time, like any other habit, you'll get better at it. At first it may be a little frustrating and then you'll see how these thoughts kind of come in and then leave and then come in and you start thinking about just really random things. So when you're able to meditate for a certain amount of time and you build up that habit on a daily basis, you'll see that you'll focus, your focus will actually grow more. Your sensitivity to other things and to noticing other things will increase as well. And that in itself will help you in that creative process. And not only when you're editing it or organizing or just coming up with different ideas for content, like that will just open up your mind to everything. You start to notice little details here and there on anything, on even the most uh, mundane, trivial things, like the way people are walking, the way people are talking. You'll realize that in your conversations, you'll actually be more engaged into the other person, what the other person is saying. So habit number two, meditation has actually been one of the most important ones, one of the most vital ones to um, really focusing and structuring my content or my creative aspect. Habit number three is develop a routine. Once you have a specific routine, you're able to build on that on a daily basis. So you don't have to deal with writer's block or creative's block or whatever you want to call it. When you don't have anything to come up with or any ideas or those days where you really can't really think of anything to film or anything to make a, a video about. Having a routine really comes in handy. And I'll give you an example for what I do. Uh, in the morning, uh, I like to wake up, exercise right away, and then I'll meditate for like 20 minutes. I'll actually stretch for a little bit. Specifically for creating videos, what I'll do is I'll set aside about 20 minutes and I'll come up with a whole bunch of ideas. And then once I write down those ideas, I'll pick out the three or five best ones and then I'll elaborate on those. 
And then I'll pick the one that I'm really, really excited about or the one that I'm really uh, I have more information on and then I'll pick that topic and I'll, and I'll start to write it out. So once I do this on a daily basis, you build up that momentum and then little by little, you'll start, you'll start getting better at coming up with different ideas for content or for anything creative, for the pictures, for a photo shoot you wanna do or for a business proposal you wanna write or just anything in general. Build up that routine and day by day, it's like a compound effect. So little by little, you start building up more and more ideas. So if you start writing, let's say, five ideas a day, within a week you'll have 35 ideas. So you'll have 35 ideas a week. And that's a big, that's a big noticeable difference. So on the days that you really can't think of anything and you kind of have that like stormy mind, cloudy, that you can't think of absolutely anything, these ideas will come in handy and you just stick to your daily routine. That leads me to habit number four, which is create content on a daily basis. Now this habit will actually keep you on that same track. So not only are you planning it, you're actually filming something. Yes, I do like to make some of the videos a little bit more I won't say complicated, but complex. It takes a lot more effort to make them and I have to travel on this location or maybe I wanna go over here or work with this person. Well, when it comes to that, um, I'll, I'll plan it out more of an efficient way and it actually is gonna take more time. But even if I'm doing that and I let's say I, I plan to make that video for the next two days, even though I don't have to film for another two days, I'll still make content for that day. So even like I'm doing right now, I'm filming here in this space, I could literally film here every day if I wanted to. I'll make a video just to make content every day, just to keep up with that habit of filming content every day. When you get to those really big complex projects, you just have the fundamentals down. Working on the fundamentals and mastering the fundamentals is a key to progressing and getting better. You master those components also helps you when you need to edit something, right? So you'll have a whole bunch of different videos to choose from, or you'll have a whole bunch of different photographs to choose from. You're just constantly working every day. And once you make content every day, you set your mind and you prime your mind into making and working and creating every day. So that's the basis of creativity, which is creating something every day. And then you get your mind accustomed to that. You'll just create things even when you don't even want to create things. You'll just be walking down the park and then you'll think right away. You'll see like, oh, wait a minute, I could talk about this or I could talk about that or the birds or the sun or the trees, or whatever. Develop those habits. That That's one of the biggest habits and one of the ones that not only is the most productive for me, but also makes me the happiest because whenever I'm filming something or making content, I'm the happiest. I don't have to worry about, oh man, I gotta do this or I gotta do that. I'm just constantly filming, constantly making, constantly creating, constantly working on that just by doing that action within itself. Not even having a goal, not even, not even finishing it, but just constantly creating just makes everything just flow a lot better. So habit number five is organize your content. And yes, this ties in into all these different habits. You'll see at the end that everything pretty much ties together. But when you organize your content, you have a clear idea of what you're gonna make. If you organize your content, everything will just come out a bit smoother. So that goes down to what equipment you're gonna use or exactly where you're gonna talk about. Maybe you wanna break it down, which is what I do break it down into bullet points and write down the notes. Even the vlogs that you do that are just kind of like random, you can still organize that in a certain way. Trust me, I've done anything from like, you know, you just go out with the camera and say, hey, today I'm gonna vlog something. And then I'll vlog it and then I'll go back into the into post-production and then I'll see that the video is okay. And I'm kind of choosing here from this and then I'll put this over here to that. And then I tried to actually organize the content. So even though it's a vlog and it's kind of like a run and gun situation, and I won't really have time to uh, set up things and specifically film this. If I actually organize and write down the specific shots that I want, or even an idea around something that I actually want, I'll actually be able to, the video just comes out a lot better. The video comes out more fluid. I won't have such a tough time editing in post and everything is just more fluid. And that just goes in anything. Even if you're working with clients, you're doing it for work. If you just organize the content, if you just organize everything, you have a clear understanding in your head. Yes, I'm all for improv and I'm all for, you know, kind of coming up with things on the spot. Something about organization that makes everything just run smoother and it'll give you peace of mind as well. So you're more confident in the content you are producing and the content you're actually creating. And habit number six is constantly educate yourself. What I mean by that is learning my craft. 
So whether it is uh, something specific on the equipment that I'm using of the camera or maybe some other technical aspect of it, lighting, uh, some kind of production technical aspect or the way that I'm organizing my content, even increasing my awareness in social media on Instagram or on Facebook. I'm always constantly learning, especially nowadays in the landscape that we have, the digital landscape, everything's always changing. So there's always something to learn, right? So you'll become a better videographer if you're constantly learning about it. I like to do is go on YouTube and look at tutorials. That's how I learned a lot of the stuff that I know nowadays. And learning from other people and networking uh, the point is that I'm really, really, I'm always thirsty to learn more, right? So I'm always a student. I'm never an expert. The expert status is always going to be, you know, somewhere far down the road, but I'm always learning. And having, bringing that mindset of always learning, I'm always getting better at what I'm doing, right? So I'm constantly looking at different ways. Even in my business with my clients, I'm always uh, educating myself in better ways I could serve them or maybe I could pr provide a service in a specific way. I'm always learning. Even with, with my podcast, um, you know, I kind of just started that out of nowhere and I started with the with the minimum, with the bare essentials, but little by little as I started doing it more and more, I started learning and educating myself. So now my episodes are coming out a lot better than they did come out in the beginning. Also like this YouTube channel. I like to keep my, the episodes that I've done before, I love to keep them there so that way I have a reference into how much I've grown. And the only way I've been able to do that is to incorporate these habits. And one of the most important ones to progress is constantly educating myself, constantly learning. All right guys, so there you have it. These are the six habits to increase your creativity. So if you agree or disagree, just let me know. If you have another habit that you can think about that I failed to mention, or one that you actually uh, use that has helped you, you, just let me know, write it down in the comments, and let everybody else know and bring value to the rest of the community, all right? Once again, this is your boy, o.javier.tv, and stay tuned for my next video, and remember, stay productive.